Hello everyone and welcome back to another gamer review. We're gonna check back on the last six months worth of games that I have played since my last game review, my seventh hundredth re review. This is the eight hundred and first video, so we're just gonna go back and check out eight hundred videos. So bear with me. Let's check it out. Let's get started. Pokemon Masters. Pokemon Masters was an actually really good game. I do recommend it. I did five little uh, episodes on that. Let's check out the first one here. Fast forward that. That's more or less what Pokemon Masters is. It reminds me of the original Pokemon uh, Red and Blue. So that's that's why I really really like that game. The Honkai Impact. Uh, I believe this game on my old device was very heavy on my gra graphics card or my little uh, processing chip uh, on my phone because I normally play off my phone. Uh, so let's see how this plays. Should be okay. Let's try to get some gameplay in there. Yeah, so you can see the graphics are really good. Except that it's really, really bogged down. So I spoke with the developers in regards to why it was doing that, why it was bogging down like that, and why it was lagging. And the developer said that during the initial download, because it's such a large file, uh, what you need to do is uninstall it and reinstall it so the files can actually settle in properly so it doesn't have that delay in there. Um, but I didn't do that. I just went ahead and tried to play it and got three episodes out of it. Naruto... Another three episodes. Let's check it out. Fast forward that there. Oh yeah, now I remember. I actually didn't like this game because it was very repetitive. It's good for the first 15 minutes, but after that, it was, eh, not good. That's so annoying to be so repetitive. It's the same stuff over and over again. Yeah, I personally didn't like that one. Fist of the North Star. Only one episode because I think it was... It wasn't playing properly. Let's see, what was it? Let's check it out here. Okay. So... for a bit more. Hey, come on. There has to be another level in here. Oh, that was the ending. Yeah. Let's go back a bit. Let's 
see the zone gameplay on this thing. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I can see why I don't like it. It's not my kind of game. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Now, Power Rangers, I was actually really excited about. So, played five games, uh, five episodes on that. And it was actually really nice. I did like it. Like the way that you were uh, able to update your Power Ranger, or up upgrade them. Well, the levels were very short. They're quick, quick levels. levels. It's actually a really good game if I recall I actually um, rated this five stars. The music's good, the graphics look good, the gameplay's good, the uh, abilities to upgrade your power ranger's good. Levels are short enough that it doesn't become annoying. It is repetitive, but everything else uh, pays off for that. That's Power Rangers All Stars. Don Machi is one of my favorite games. And here's the uh, ice level. Ice, ice. And there's like, I don't know, like 13 or 19 of these episodes. Played a lot of this. I beat the whole uh, the whole storyline of Ice. It's a lot of story talking. Good storyline. Fast forward that into some gameplay. <laughs> right, go back. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, if you notice, there's an auto battle button on the top uh, left corner. That's mainly how I played the game, was on auto battle. It made it so much easier instead of uh, pushing all these buttons over and over again. So it allowed me basically just to watch the game uh, play by itself, watch the AI play by itself. So I just wanted to pretty much read the storyline and see what was going to happen to the heroes. It's a good story. すっかり遅くなっちゃいましたね。どこ行っていた。遠征が終わったばかりだというのに少しは体を休めたらどうだ。しかもレフィアまで連れて行くとは。<笑> 
So it's Don Machi, Memorial Freeze, the Ice Storyline. Monster Hunters, uh, this was a free version. And it's one of those ones that is actually worth it, in my opinion, to buy it. Um, I definitely plan on buying it and playing it all the way through. Uh, but I got so many other games to play, that's why I said, oh, let me just play the free version. But it's a really, really nice storyline. Really great, great graphics. Let's check it out. Let's work through some battle. Check things out here. Surprise attack. Snuck up on me. That's more or less how the gameplay goes on Monster Hunter. I really like that one. I recommend it a lot. Call of Duty Mobile. If you haven't played this game, get on it. It is one of the best. Actually, I would say it's actually the best. Mm. Yeah, it is the best Battle Royale game on mobile. The only thing I wish that uh, the developers allowed was to use the uh, controller to sync up a, you know, like a Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth controller to this game because it does actually hurt the fingers after a while, you know, the thumbs, uh, touching the screen for so long playing this game because this game is so addicting you can play it for a long time. That's the only reason why I stopped because uh, I'm starting to hurt my thumbs after a while. Nice. Huh. Uh oh. I don't know who that was. If you want, you can give them a call back. Ask them who it was. Okay, that's a fun game. Check it out. That is Call of Duty Mobile. Tales of Aaron. Only one. Only one, right? Yeah. So only one episode. Shoot. Tales of Aaron.
Let's see. Amazing graphics. Oh, I think I only played one episode because it's all in like Japanese. There wasn't a. Oh, wait a minute, no. There was English translator. I only uploaded 13 minutes and 40 seconds worth of this game, so it might have been possible that this game no longer worked after that. And so I just uninstalled. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I was trying to log back in and play the game. But never want to upload after that after this. Alright, you get the idea. Yeah. So it's Tales of Aaron. Now Epic Seven. I think Epic Seven I did ten episodes. Yeah. Epic seven. Let's do Nine. Yeah, this one's actually a good game as well. I, I recommend this one too. I gave it one of five stars as well. It was between this game or Don Machi, and Don Machi uh, took the win. So this is a really good game. I, I recommend this one. This game this was a really good game. A lot of, lot of battle. Okay, Epic Seven. Check it out. That's a good one. Dan Machi. As we continue on, Era of Celestials. Three, four, five, five episodes. Okay, let's check out number four. This one was actually a good game as well. The only thing what I didn't like about this that I, I can see right now is there's way, 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 way too much stuff on the screen. Way too much. Wait, too, look at this. That's way too much stuff. And that got annoying after a while. And I think there was ads in this too. Which I don't mind. Free games. It's a free game. So I don't mind watching ads. Especially if it's a good game.
Yeah, that's an awesome game. Check that out. Power of Celestials. There's a lot of good games now on Android. You gotta check them out. Nobleman was uh, not really good with its graphics. But it's not bad. It's old school. I was trying to take out the leader. Alright, so that is Nobleman. Crossfire Legends. Oh, horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible graphics, horrible audio, horrible sound, that's just no good. Yeah, it doesn't even sound like a gun. Yeah, that's enough of that. Westland. Survivor. Now I played another game that was similar to this, but Westland. You look, look at this. My guy's not. He's just gliding on the ground. That's already a big thing right there. So there's a lot of uh, glitches on this game that that hopefully have been patched up by now. But um, it, it's pretty bad. It's one of those um, harvesting supplies. Building up your home, uh, leading other places. There's my house. So that's that. That is Westland Survival. Gotta give it a try. Metal Slug Infinity. If you ever played a Metal Slug game, that's what it is.
Well, the whole idea I forgot about that is that you're buying more guys down at the bottom, more characters, and uh, you can see to stay ahead of you and, and fight for you as well. If you like old school games, 2D games, then you might like this game. Personally, I, th I think I'm done playing those kind of games. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is when y I only have one video uploaded, that means that it wasn't worth my time to even try to upload another game uh, because it was most likely that bad. It's like a one star, pretty bad. If there's three three videos, it was worth testing out. Five videos, it was a good game. Uh, most likely would recommend it. Ten and above, highly recommend it. It's most likely a five star. A really great game. Now, Horror Field was a good game. Um, I'm not one into horror games. But if you like scary games, then you might want to check this game out. I'm healing up my allies. <laughs> Gotta repair the generators and try to get out of there as soon as as soon as possible. So you're working with the team. Okay, cool. All the generators have, have been uh, repaired. Now we're unlocking the gate. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Good game, but I'm not one into scary games. So, if you like scary games, check it out. Another Power Rangers game, but this one I actually did not like. It didn't, it didn't feel right. It looks cool. But the gameplay just didn't feel so right. So that's how Power Rangers Legacy War is played. Not one of my favorites. Raid Shadow Legends. This has been heavily, 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 heavily advertised. And it is not one of my favorites. It's good, but it doesn't play good.
Yeah, I don't like this. Look how slow that is. It's so slow. Okay, I'm done. That's it. Sword Art Online. That was actually a really good game. Good storyline. Once again, I do recommend uh, Sword Art Online. Let's check out this one here. Talking. <laughs> So that is sort of online memory memory defragment. More Danmachi, Danmachi, Seven Days to Die. Um, Seven Days to Die I actually played on my PC. I do have uh, a laptop that I from time to time live stream on. So if you're lucky, you might be able to catch me live streaming. Stay out. To be honest, I don't recall what this one was about. Let's check it out. Oh, that's right. Now I recall. So, Stay Out was a game that was in beta. Um, the developers uh, offered it for free. They just wanted people to test it out and make sure that the environment um, was programmed properly and, and reacting the way it should with, uh, with my character walking around. So, there wasn't really much there to really test out. I just put a couple of things just to make it a little bit um, entertaining, more or less. But there really wasn't much there. So that is Seven Days to Die. If you haven't played it, I'm sorry, stay out, sorry. That is Stay Out. Hopefully they uh, made some more improvements on that. It's... Let's see, I don't know if you have seen Seven Days to Die. But that I streamed that game for 3 hours and 42 minutes. My little house. And then run around to collect supplies. And here comes the horde. I was digging there to try to find a treasure, which I ended up finding eventually. You see on the top, you can see that there's a treasure there. Took me a long time to find. Got 
and Machi Johnny Trigger. That was another game advertised. So I thought I'd give it a play. It's not bad. Ads. And that is Johnny Trigger, the Crypto Games Bitcoin Tycoon. That's literally all you do is just push the button. And no, you're not actually earning these Bitcoins. These are fake. This is just a game. A lot of people were uh, asking if they can withdraw this, these bitcoins, but no, it's that'd be crazy if it would be that easy to earn these kind of bitcoins. I mean, come on, two bitcoins that's like what thousands and thousands of dollars. Upgrade your, your equipment, your office. That's all you do, you just push the button. Now the crypto merge. Just upgrade stuff and just continue to mine. More and more Bitcoin. But once again, these are not real Bitcoins. You cannot withdraw these Bitcoins. It's only a game. It takes a lot more, a lot more energy to uh, to mine these Bitcoins. That's the crypto merge. Cover fire. Cover fire. Nice. Nice. Dead. 
So that is cover fire. Some more Danmachi, seven days to die. Danmachi, seven days to die. Arcane Quest. Arcane Quest Legends. It reminds me of a game like on PlayStation 2. Those buttons for my magic my magic abilities for my abilities they're in an awkward like position they're too like far out or something because I keep accidentally pushing those buttons King Quest Legends Warface Global Operations. Now, this is nowhere near as good as the apparently there's a, a PC version of it that I was checking out on YouTube, and that's where I got the idea to check it out on um, Android. So, it does the job. Ouch. So that's Warface Global Operations Critical Strike. This one's really cheesy. Another one with really bad graphics. Bad sound. Fast forward it to the game. Does that even sound like a gun? These AIs are so horrible. And I have a feeling that they're all AIs, but not actual players. I think I'm the only player in here that's playing this game. Because I was ending up with like five times more kills than anyone else. Everyone else would get eight, I would get like 40, 50 kills. Crazy. So, that doesn't even sound like a gun strike and that is it as you can see that is my 800th video there for face global operations so that's that's it I checked out all these videos so with that said if you have any game recommendations definitely leave it in the comment section below Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel to continue to watch some more Android games. And uh, actually, I just downloaded uh, Mortal Kombat 11 on my laptop, so I'm excited to stream that. I'll do that this weekend. Uh, that's uh, I'm a big fanatic of Mortal Kombat 11, but I don't want to pay 80 bucks for uh, for the premium edition. 
that. So the game was actually on sale. So I got lucky on that and got an awesome deal. So that's all the games. Look at that. That's a lot of games. That's what I've played in six months. Just trying out different games, getting getting the feel for them. Some are good, some are bad. Some more amazing. Some are addicting. And there it is. So with that said, I'm going to let you guys go until the next 100th video. That's going to be up to the 900th. Getting close to my all-time goal, which is to achieve 1,000 videos. So at the rate we're going at, maybe, maybe about one more year left before I can upload my all-time goal. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um... And I'm making the decision that after I upload my 100th, my 1,000th video, that I'll be uh, switching over to a different platform. Only because YouTube has applied so many restrictions and banned so many people. Um, it, it's so crazy what YouTube is doing right now. So a lot of people are leaving the platform just because it's so, so just horrible. It's horrible. Um, yeah. So I'll be looking into that. So with that said, adios. Until next time.